So Rocky, how would you reflect on what's been a successful season both domestically and internationally for the academy? Uh, yeah, re really exciting, fantastic to go through lots of experiences for us as staff with a lot of different players. I think the, the range of different opportunities that the guys have had from different playing for different nations or playing for the different age groups here as well as the for lots of them, the schools and clubs. Um, it's been really exciting for us and we've learned a lot about the young guys that we're working with and, and most importantly their potential for the future. If we just focus on the internationals, how important is it that they use the experience to the full and not just go for the match at the end of the week? It's something we talk to them uh, a lot about with regards to the achievement of being selected is fantastic but the the things they can gain from that experience is, is far and beyond the, just the appearance on a weekend and it's a really proud moment but it's probably not the, the moment that they'll learn the most about themselves. I think that, that time with different coaches is, is a big piece that like we, we'd be very naive if we thought that we were the only coaches they'd ever learn from and I think p different programmes deliver things differently. Training alongside and against play players at that level um, is, is more challenging. You know, they're, they're all at, they're all at a similar level of, of ability or of talent, and um, yeah, we really leverage against that to try and help the guys maximise what they can from those camps. And how is it different so for players that go to different countries, such so as Reece Davis goes to Wales, Sam Eric goes to Italy, yeah. and then there's players like Tom de Glanville and Tom Jeans who both go to England under 18s. Yeah. How important is it that they experience the different cultures but also play together for Bath and their country? It's very similar to when our first team guys go away. Clearly when we're working with those guys at that age, the developing athletes and developing young men, um, they'll take different things from those experiences. Um, but when they come together, it's, it's still about them being able to use those to push each other and challenge each other and, and ultimately you know, develop from everything they've done in the previous weeks and months to put their best foot forward on the pitch together. I think, I think it's fantastic that we've got that diversity. You know, we, we could have six guys with England or we could have five or six guys spread across different, uh, different camps and different environments and that's not wholeheartedly a bad thing, especially for these guys at such a young age. Um, the worst thing would be if they existed in one environment all the time and got the same coaching and the same philosophies and the, the same approach to support their development. So I think uh, the diversity is fantastic.